Yes, good morning. So today we're going to show how you can use Eon AI Assist and uh, the creative capabilities of using text prompts uh, that then are generating images. In this case, as an example, I have used images related to AI and augmented reality. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some examples and also use prompts. There's a different type of engines behind this. Uh, Mid Journey is one of them. Uh, I'm sure you heard about Dali too. And Eon is integrated the very best to bring to you. Uh, so this can be a very valuable way if you want to visualize something interesting or use this um, uh, as a part of your lesson or experiences. Keep in mind this is uh, being integrated this quarter as a part of Eon AI Assist. So let's start in the culinary art. You can see here that this is a culinary art, culinary art student in augmented reality. Uh, that was the prompt. Here's a prompt called culinary art students, the same. And I got various uh, options. Uh, I then um, went to fashions, uh, fashion industry. And you can see here some example of uh, fashion related activities. Um, I then moved on to uh, additional example in fashion. Uh, using augmented reality uh, and followed my more culinary art where I looked at details. Uh, in this case, I'm using uh, simply the prompt of augmented reality glasses. I also, to show you the quality, I've used also simple word, word as girl and I get these options. I then moved on to cosmetology, cosmetologists, a lot of difficult word. And you can see how it's generating, I wanted to have a little futuristic look of the industry and how AI can help. Uh, further on, I moved on to what you see here on the left side, which is criminal justice, uh, two young policemen, augmented reality. Uh, further on to the next, on the left side here, you can see construction workers, young and, and also an old one that teaches. The same one happens with carpentry uh, in a workshop and more carpentry where older teachers, uh, teaches new young students about all methodology. On the left side, you see a very modern manufacturing environment for cars with robots. Uh, and on the right side, you see construction. Uh, young technician with all the wearing light transparent augmented reality. Let's move on to the next one. So we get into the uh, agriculture side. Uh, you can see now a greenhouse environment and now you can see more manufacturing and maintenance repair operation training. Let's move on. Uh, now we go a little bit on youngsters that get a project uh, in a con community college for agriculture. On the right, we move to aerospace. Uh, and then more aerospace, aerospace in area that I like. And then I want a bit more futuristic. So young students, hyper-realistic image, bright sunny day in a meadow where there is an AI in the background that does the mundane work. And then on the right side, you see the student that is focusing on things that are very fun and creative. So creativity is left to the humans, but on the left side, you see how robots, or in this case, artificial intelligence does the mundane work. That's a dissimilar depiction, but perhaps a more darker version uh, of the same. And you can see here that the students focusing on the right hand side to create very, very exciting, creative stuff. You can see that's replicated even in details of the right arm of the shirt. And then AI is buzzing in the background uh, doing the mundane stuff. Even younger, on the kid here on the left, reimagining the world using AI, climate change, uh, ex space exploration. And on the right, uh, young students learning about 
anatomy and interacting with each other. That continues on the left side here, and then on the right side we have DNA, on DNA studies of young adults and kids. Um, I think uh, then, of course, I had to go to what inspired me to become uh, <laughs> a rocket scientist, which is what you see on the left side here, on the right side here, uh, space exploration. Um, quite fun depiction. You can see the 2D and the 3D. Uh, and f uh, further on, various interpretations of that, and also various interpretation of anatomy study. The prompts are really simple. Like you can see here, young teenagers interacting with each other, one demonstrating augmented reality. And then you have to say what it is, anatomy or um, a little more on the theme of space, but now uh, with little kids looking at space exploration. And then we move into the ancient world. Uh, here is antiquity finding archaeological sites and depicting not treasures, but how to identify things from the past, something that most kids are fascinated. And of course, I couldn't resist to the right here. I had to do the famous astronaut uh, variation on riding a horse. Um, then I, I've been thinking about the personas around avatars. So I've asked it to create an hologram avatar, and you can see various solutions for the hologram avatar something that you don't have to wear or have, hold a device, but it's sitting on the table and helping you. And these are more modern versions of the hologram avatar, artificial intelligence avatar, hyper-realistic. You can see that a combined element that bleeds through of understanding that it's actually a mechanical device, or in this case, a hologram. I also try a different type of um, logos here. I was playing with Learn for Life. And then I think it's getting interesting to the right here. Now I combine uh, various ages and bright sunny day in the classroom, all the female Chinese teacher, um, and also blending different ages and also different races. So we can see Asia meeting Africa. I really like this one here because it represents the future, right? People that are partly Chinese and I would say probably partly from Africa and being taught by an older teacher that masters the topic, not necessarily masters uh, the technology, but uh, masters the topic. Because as we all know, no one is to understand or master virtual reality. It's gonna be so easy. So your mom and your grandma can do it, as you can see here to the right. Um, and the same theme is expanded here. And further on, I also like this one to the left a lot because the teacher, you can see on the that the teacher knows the expertise. You can see that and guides gently the student. The student is excited, as you can see here. Um, and now we went a bit more cartoonish. I uh, used the, this kind of little bit more fun part. This is perfect for elementary school, depicting a, I would say a bright future. How again, AI can help to illuminate our minds and combining the books, but at the same time envision the future we're using glasses. Um, these glasses look a little bit bulky still. I, I envision them to be much thinner, more like what you see here, the light transparent ones. Um, and yeah, and of course, I just wanted to contrast this to see the real world. You can see the future in the real world. This could be taken hundreds of years in the past in an Alp. Uh, chalet somewhere in Switzerland, while the future, you can see, continues here. I also have this young Indian student that envisions uh, the future, but with a bit of a spiritual touch. 
Uh, again, in the background, you have the AI doing mundane, boring things while the student is having a lot of fun uh, and is very, very creative. And so now we enter in the creative age, right? Where we can sit in the grass and imagine the future and things are happening. We have AI, we literally stand on the sh shoulder of giants and we are empowered and we can grow beyond our current human constraints in this way. So I would like to end actually with this one here because I feel this kind of represents uh, the near future. I'm not talking about the far future. So on that note, thank you so much. And um, I will release also the Eon uh, handbook, AI assistant handbook that uh, depicts over more than 100 pages what the features are today and what we are developing in the near future. Stay tuned.